Despite a verdict from the Supreme Court in 2015 that had struck down the controversial Section 66A of the IT Act, cases were still continuing across the country. On this, the NGO POCL had moved a petition saying that this kind of uh, misuse of the law needs to be stopped. Now, the Supreme Court has passed a clear verdict saying that any pending matters or FIRs that contain the uh, offence of Section 66A have to be deleted and asking the DGPs of all states and union territories to ensure that the police officials are informed of the same. We're speaking to Senior Advocate Sanjay Parekh, who was representing PUCL in this matter. Yeah. So thank you very much for speaking thank to you. India today. Uh, so what are the main points that have been made by the Supreme Court today in this verdict? Uh, see, the main points are that the cases which are pending, Ji. that is to say pending in the trial court or pending in different high courts, uh, uh, as far as uh, Section 66A is concerned, they will come to an end. There won't be any trial or prosecution. Now, uh, that is one thing. Second is that there is a direction which has been given to all the police authorities throughout the country that no fresh case will be uh, uh, registered under 66A of the, of the, of the Information Technology Act. Yeah. So, there was also a debate during this hearing regarding that uh, magistrates also need to be informed that there needs to be some changes in the publications which mention Section 66A and there are certain guidelines uh, directions passed today also. What what will this mean exactly? What all will have to be done now by the authorities? See, uh, as far as the magistrates are concerned, the trial courts are concerned, uh, the suggestions which were made earlier were that the High Court should be given direction. But now, because Supreme Court uh, under Article 142 of the Constitution has given directions, so therefore no separate direction is required. Okay. The cases which are pending before the High Court or before the magistrates under 66A will come to an end. Now, there is another thing which we pointed out that what happens is that if uh, 66A is kept on the statute book, then there is an impression uh, with the authorities and even with the, with the magistrates that 66A exists. Okay. So, therefore, there is a direction given that wherever the private publications and government publications, it will be mentioned that 66A has been struck down by the court and there can't be any prosecution under the said provision. So, so what was the reason why this clarification had not already been given in the government publications? Because most of the time when the official publication of the Bear Act is made, there is an asterisk, uh, asterisk and the uh, mention is made that so-and-so section has been struck down or has been deleted. So why was this not done so far? Was there any explanation on that? See, the question is that as far as the government publications are concerned, uh, it was not mentioned. And the private uh, publications, because usually I think the private publications are used by the, by the courts. And there, this only a note comes, where note it was mentioned that it has been struck down. Now, nobody sometimes, you know, you read the note, you don't read the note. That's why I had made a suggestion that there should be a asterisk mark Gee. and uh, to read, you know, the note, which is important. But the court said, no, we can't give these directions because we have given a general direction that the in publications should be made clear. So I think all the publications which are government and public should make it very clear, not only by just putting a note underneath, but by putting a asterisk mark and saying that this has been struck down and also referring to the judgment in yes. Shia Singhal and also to the directions which have been given today by the Supreme Court. So, how many cases do we actually have? I mean, because there was a status report that the court had called for to see which uh, states have pending cases, which states have actually not used it. Now, the status report that was submitted, one point that was made in that was that very few states and UTs have actually filed their response. So, how many cases are we really dealing with? Because your petition had mentioned several cases. See, there'll be there'll be a few hundred cases, you know, which uh, uh, are pending before different courts, and I think there'll be a large number of cases where the prosecution, where the FIRs have been registered. So, uh, exact number uh, we can't say because there are some respons uh, responses filed by certain states and union territories, and some are not filed. So that won't be there, but there are, as I said, you know, hundreds, hundreds of cases where uh, which are pending before different courts. So, just as a last question, could you please explain to our viewers what does it mean that Section 66A has been struck down? What kind of cases are affected? What kind of prosecutions have been carried out even after the uh, striking down of 66A? Uh, uh, I won't be able to give all specific cases. 
no, but as a what is what was the law that has been struck down and how does it affect the general public? Yeah, see, it it was that you know so many times you try to express your views and you express your views in in certain ways. Now, sixty six A use certain expressions which uh, do not form part of Article nineteen two of the Constitution, and on the basis of those. Uh, Uh, uh you know uh, provisions which are mentioned uh, in 66a the prosecutions were launched okay. and that's the reason why supreme court said that whatever uh, uh, wordings which have been used in 66a are something which are over broad and do not fall within the parameters of uh, freedom of speech and expression and therefore so this was objectionable content object- or yeah, so, uh, what content exactly content. was this uh, uh, all about see objectionable uh, contents are there sometimes you write to some somebody saying a particular thing and that is construed as something which uh, will be an offense uh, whereas under the constitution it is covered by the expression you know speech and expression so that will be offending naturally your your fundamental right thank you very much uh, this was uh, senior advocate sanjay parekh who very clearly uh, explained what the court has said today about section 66a despite the fact that in 2015 the shreya singhal case had very clearly set aside section 66a hundreds of cases were still pending in various trial courts and high courts across the country now in 2022 the supreme court has made it clear that all fir's and trials if they are under the offense of section 66a of the it act must be stopped immediately in addition the police officials have also been asked to uh, ensure that their the junior officers are sensitized to the matter and any publications whether government semi government or private must mention very clearly that this section does not exist any longer in new delhi this is anisha mathur for india today